Welcome back folks to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. When we last left off, we were currently fighting a war to claim Glamorgan. Unfortunately we have two sets of enemies on our gates, one that I found that was very obvious, which is this one, the Duchess of Hereford here, who has three provinces and five vassals with also counties, but one I realised is a bit farther away. This man. Not this man? Is it one of his sons? This man. And his wife, who has a weak claim on our territories. Female rulers if the claimant is male. Well, it's tenuous, but unfortunately, it's a regency. And as long as I am below 16 years of age, she can declare, they can declare war on me. So what I need to do is grow old faster. Where are you currently residing? You're at court there. Right, what we need to do is very quickly wait until you're old enough and dump this guy right here. Curry favor. We need to avoid them declaring war on me for the next three years. Because trust me, they will. I think that's a distant relation of uh, Stefan there. Or someone else, but either way, they have a claim on my territory, and I don't like it. This guy is also a minor problem. That is my second, my currently eldest alive sibling, dead. Dead, I think comatose, in bed. Yep, when incapable, dropped dead. As you ride through the empty corridors of your castle on this trusty wooden horse, you come across your regent, getting some fresh air on the balcony, with his back turned against you. Ooh. No, I'm a good lad. I could just kill him. I'm a good lass. I won't kill him, as much as the notion is amusing to me. Oh dear. Oh, the Glamorgans are trying to claim my territory. This isn't going to work out for you because you're about to lose that all anyway. I really want these guys not to declare war on me. You're my friends, right? Oh yeah, he's humble. I'm proud. I just need to survive a few more years. Ah! That, uh, that might help. You need, uh, educating. Good. Um, let's sort that, shall we? That will sort out a temporary problem. But not a permanent one. Not this guy! There is much need for him to decide he wants to declare war to press her claim. It's a very weak claim. It's a tenuous claim. But the fact that Stefan died way too young does not help. If he'd have died later on, and we'd um, had no regency, this wouldn't be an issue. Matters of state are a dangerous and deadly thing. To offer some peace, yet uh, get that territory, and hope. She's going to turn 15 in nine months? No. Yes, nine months, so we need to survive a year and nine months without him deciding he wants to press a claim. Which, I have to be honest, is not likely. He could claim the entire of my kingdom, and his army is vast. It is 4,000 men. My army is a lot smaller. It is 2,700 men. There would not be much stopping him. He could march his men down here, into Scotland, through Scot from Scotland, through to England, and just kill me. And the English wouldn't mind, because they're not at war with the Scots right now. Well, they're not at war with anyone. How many allies do I have? None. <laughs> My allies are thin and non-existent. His man has two allies. Not much, they're people in his own, um, 
they're people in his own uh, territories, but they're still allies. And that was uh, someone important. That was my steward. There is a better steward now, though. I'm just hoping I live long enough. You don't have any claims on any of my territories, do you? No. Good. You see, unlike you, you could claim maybe one territory, and that wouldn't be a problem. But he? He could claim the lot. He could claim every single title I have. And also, Pope Sebastian is dead. He died of slow fever. Typhoid. And has been replaced by Pope Romanus, who is arbitrary. He... Doesn't mind me at all, really. And here is a scripted event. The Birth of the Assassins. These events occur at various points during the game, and at this point, everyone in um, Western Europe doesn't find this threatening. They will find it threatening later. The uh, Sunset Invasion adds in a whole new set of them, where the Aztecs come in in the late medieval era on boats and attack there, sometimes here too. We don't want that. Uh, that's a bit silly. Okay. Let us carry on. As we were. It's not long now before this is over. And he can't claim my crown anymore. You died. Of smallpox, I think. The great pox. Oh no, syphilis! Fair enough. Smallpox, I think, is a different disease in this game. The Black Death can appear. Lord help you if anyone in your family catches the Black Death. <laughs> good! Good! Plus 30 relationship is good. That's very good, actually. Let's, uh, let's wait for a little while longer until I'm no longer 15. When I turn 16, then... We can switch over to currying favour with Hereford. I'm counting down these days. It is literally a month to go in game before I turn of age, and that can no longer be pressed. Yes! And you became a tough soldier. Plus three marshal. Minus one learning. Plus 0.5 health. But I'm a pretty terrible ruler. That's kind of because I did not have the advantage of um, being educated by my the person I previously was. So, I'm unmarried. I should pick an ambition. The natural ambition is to get married. We should find someone to marry. Here are all the people that we can marry. Now let's switch to all the people who will matrilineally marry me. We could marry a 52-year-old King of a Prince of England. We could also marry this guy, who's awful. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, matrilineal marriages tend not to favour the um, the male side that goes in because their family dynasty ends with all children. So we need to pick someone who will be appropriate. This guy would be appropriate, except the fact that he's currently 12. <laughs> So, at this point, we just need to find someone who's interesting. And someone who's willing to marry us. Uh, awful stats. Awful stats. Nice stats. Pretty young. Desires to become court chaplain. Hmm. We're looking for green stats here. Midas touched is always nice. Um, hmm. To be honest, I think we should go with this guy. He's patient and kind and a tough soldier, which also matches with us. And to be honest, I don't see many people who are better. There's this guy. He's an heir to a he's an heir to a bishop um, holding. There's also this guy. And this guy might actually work. How old is he? Yeah, let's have a matrilineal marriage here. <laughs> yes, send. Within a year, we will be married. 
in yeah, within a year, we'll be married. So we don't need to worry about that right now. Our demence is not that big though. Dangerous faction has emerged. This guy again. Look, stop it, okay? Have an honorary title, be the master of the horse. Stop it. This guy is proving to be a problem. I could banish him. Ransom him out, no one cares. Release him, execute him? No. We'll just leave him there for now. If you choose to rebel, that's your issue. We can move this person away now. There is absolutely no reason for him to be up there in the uh, in the Scottish uh, Highlands, because now that claim cannot be pressed. The claimant is not male, therefore cannot be pressed. If the claimant was male, it could be pressed. But at the moment, it's all good. We do not yet have enough money to create this title. We need about 50 more gold. We will get some gold when we marry this... Um, this person, in a little bit, he seems to have pretty good traits. And good stewardship. That's the other reason why I decided that was a good choice. Not long, not long. Hooray, nobody got declared war upon and killed me. Always good. How long have we got to wait now? August. So... Now, betrothed can marry. Fair enough. What did you end up becoming? You ended up becoming a fortune builder. Yes! Marry. Marry. Claim the money. All children of the Union will be of her dynasty. Nice. Our demence is still three of four, though. However, we can work to improve our stewardship, or we could work to have children. To be honest, I think right now we should work to improve our stewardship. And we have money enough to create a title, which we shall do. We are now the Duke of D the Duchess of Jehobarth, which means this guy likes us less because he wants that. But that's okay. We could actually declare war on this guy now and uh, claim Gwent. Or we could wait quite a while. If we get 381.6 gold and 200 piety, we can create the Kingdom of Wales. And we are very young, 16 years old, and uh, no traits that would leave us to die really early on, so we could easily Offer vassalization? No. Small power difference in rank. Opinion of me. Base reluctance. You don't want to. That's lovely. That's absolutely lovely. So what we need to do right now is basically hoard cash. But at the moment we need to use a pretty large army. And change the feudal taxation laws. A little. I know it makes them like me less, but I need to do it. I need that tax. Someone has... My mother has contracted typhus. Let's hope I don't contract typhus. That would be a very short end to this entire thing. Oh no! Now, now we have four out of four demence. This is good. Now our actual influence of our husband has come into effect. And we have enough demence to... Uh, my husband could become steward. He actually desires to become steward. Do it. He's actually the best person for the job. Good. We have no valid ambitions right now. Probably because we're waiting to improve our own stewardship. What we should do right now is crush this man. You! How many people do you have under your control? 900. How many people do I have under my control? A lot more than 900. You, sir! Serve under me. 
he would not join, so I must make him join. Also, there are rivers heading from everywhere here. So what we need to do is converge the soldiers. He's called in the Petty King of Connacht. So that man. That is not so much a worry. Oh, he's moving. There is a bri there is a river, but we must cross it. We must fight him. And we absolutely crushed him. That was not bad at all. And we will crush him too. Again. Excellent! You like us. This is all good. And again, crushed. Now we will just sit here and wait. He called in a few people, actually. He called in someone all the way down there? Wow, this person really likes me. I think right now we don't need to worry about that anymore. Right now we just need to worry about fabricating some claim. No, no, let's not fabricate claims right now. It's not. That that sounds dumb. Just stay where you are. Keep that person happy. Large number of famished defenders have succumbed to starvation. Awesome. You have a thousand seven hundred men. And you decided to walk away. Is that because someone else is declaring war on you? No. Uh that is outrageously expensive for fifty cultural points. So we shall not. I don't know why that person decided to walk all the way back, but uh, fair enough. This war's going to be over if you go north. The church wants to organize a miracle play for their local saint in our demence. They feel, they seem to feel that it should fall on the shoulders, on my shoulders, to pay for it for the glory of God. Yes, that is a very cheap gold for piety. If I get an opportunity to raise my piety, I will do so. Because trust me, raising gold is e easier than raising piety. I need a lot of gold to found a kingdom, but I also need a lot of piety. A lot more piety than gold, really, in a sense. I'm earning gold at a ratio of nearly four times faster. Not even four times faster, five times faster. Eventually you get to the point where you... Ah! Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse and the roots are not safe. Pope Eugene III has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion. The Crusades themselves. It is called Crusader Kings too, after all. Crusades do happen on all sides. If you win a crusade, and you are the highest contributing factor, you in fact will gain all of the territory bequeathed to you by the Pope. But right now we have won this war. We do not claim this territory. This man now merely serves under us. And he really dislikes the fact that we did that. He is going to be a problem. Chances are he is going to rebel against us. But that isn't a problem. Because we have no major threats right now. This man is old and quite likes us now. Educating my niece to be an envious son of a gun. But what can you do? We managed to go through the entire video without being invaded. Or crushed. And we managed to survive our... um. Youthful Regency. We did not get many stats, but we are still standing. So, when we come back, folks, what's next on the cards? Founding the Kingdom of Wales, and then possibly looking west to the islands of Ireland. And conquering that for the glory of Wales. But first things first. Queen Suan actually needs to become a queen in her own legitimate right. No more petty fiefdoms. Soon we shall actually rule. Until then, folks, I'll see you later. Later.